OnePlus is doing things in 2024 very differently than we've seen them before. We have the 12 series, which we knew, but then now we have that brand new 12R, and now we no longer have the Z series buds. We actually have them as full-fledged standard bud series because they've added so many features into them, they actually very, make it very hard to decide between the Buds 3 and, of course, the Pro series that they've had before. This is their brand new Buds 3, a launching device that provides us not only some of the main flagship experiences when it comes down to earbuds, but also some great audio, dual connectivity, and IP rating on a device that comes in at the price point that we have right now. So of course, without further ado, this is the brand new OnePlus Buds 3, a very compelling budget, premium sounding Buds from OnePlus. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what we have here is the brand new Buds 3. Again, the successor or at least the evolutionary upgrade of the Buds Z series that we get from OnePlus. So we no longer will have that. We now have the Buds 3. Now conversely, yes, if you look at them and you say that they look like last year's Pro series, that's because they do. And uh, sorry about the dropping that in. You'll notice there's a lot of similarities, aesthetics, but on the outside, they have a lot of similarities. They do have some major changes between the two. One of them, they're actually elevating the experience of the Z series buds to meet and even sometimes exceed the expectations that you get. Almost like as if you're getting the Pro series for a budget price. Now in the box, it's pretty much a standard thing. There's some instruction information here. There's a USB-A to USB-C cable to be able to charge them up, although you can pretty much charge them up from anything. Uh, they do come with the medium sized buds installed and they do have a large and a small included in a little baggie so that you're actually able to change the ear tips that we have here on each bud. This is very nice and provides us the ability of actually getting that nice snug fit so that we can get some of that great ANC. Again, rated to be able to cancel out about 49 dBs just by using them. And if you're using the right, uh, the right ear tip, you're actually helping it by providing that ear seal and of course a better fit when you're using them. Now they're going to be available in a couple of colors. The one that I have here, as you noticed, matches very nicely to the OnePlus 12R that I have right here and I've been using it with it. One of the nice things that we have here is also dual connectivity, which meant that I'm actually also able to use it with my S24 Ultra as a secondary device. Actually the audio clip or the video clip that we're going to be testing out the audio from this is going to be coming from the S24 Ultra using the Pro Video Mode to be able to record audio straight to our device. But with that being said, out of the box, what do we get? We get a pair of buds that are trying to give us a basically 10.4 millimeter woofers with six millimeter tweeters built into, into each uh, piece. Now, the big difference between this and what we got with the first generation, or at least the Pro series from last year, is that we no longer have the click functionality. This is actually pretty much a touch functionality, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a change distance here. That little slider here enables us to change the volume. We'll talk about that a little bit as well. Charging occurs using the pogo pin, and of course we have that proximity sensor, and of course it's pretty much easy. Magnetically connected, sits right there in the case, and the case itself is magnetically connected. One thing that I do want to mention is that we do not have wireless charging on this, unlike the Pro series, which you were able to do. We are actually entirely be able to charge it up using the USB-C cable and that's pretty much where it gets really the benefit of it is that basically 10 minutes will give you about seven hours worth of playback. Playback on here is rated to be about 28 hours with active noise cancellation and up to 44 hours with uh, without active noise cancellation. So that's definitely the big benefit here. The battery that we have here on the case is a 520 milliampere where the each earbud carries a, uh, basically a 58 milliampere battery. That's going to be how we're getting the best experiences. The microphones that we have here are actually some of the best options that we have. And of course, the case itself is very nice. There's two colors available. There's these uh, basically the splendid blue, which is what I have with me here, kind of close enough to what we have with the 12R. And there's the metallic metallic uh, gray, which also kind of marries to the more of the darker tone version of the 12R that's available as well. You kind of feel like they're trying to put them together. And even when you use, when you do that, you're still saving a lot of money. So I mentioned to you guys that we have dual connectivity. And as you can see here, it's connected to both devices at the same time. The big difference though is OnePlus devices, you'll be basically configured directly within the settings. You go into the Bluetooth settings, you pair it, all the controls and everything that we typically have access to here on the Hey Melody app on non OnePlus devices. It's pretty much married in here and you're able to configure everything. So you can see here, I can turn on LHTC and LHTC is featuring here the LHTC 5.0 uh, codec. And if you're using it with a OnePlus device or a device that supports LHTC, then this is where you're going to be able to get the best audio. If you don't have LHTC, and let's say you do end up going into uh, basically a device that doesn't have it, we'll cancel it later on. We actually default back to SPC and AAC codecs. So just keep that in mind. Bluetooth 5.3 is the maximum support here. IP55 is what we have in here as far as compatibility. Now, earbud functions, pretty straightforward as far as what you're able to do. You see here, kind of we're starting to marry the same experience. High-res audio, you're able to customize your EQ. I've created my own, which is I call TK. 
You have golden sound, uh, OnePlus 3D audio as well. Earbuds control makes it very nice and you can customize them on each earbud. Very cool. Slide here, as you see here, it says slide on the right side for volume control. I left that the same thing on the left. We have triple, uh, triple tap, single tap, and double tap out of the box. The single and double are actually disabled or they're not configured. So you do need to go in there and customize them. Uh, you'll notice right here, touch and uh, hold, you're able to turn on either transparency on the left side and on the right side, I configured it to be uh, activating. Uh, you can actually go in there and customize it and turn on the different options. You're also able to customize it to turn on the voice assistant on the triple tap. So. A lot of a lot of very nice functional options and because i'm not wearing them let's go ahead and put them on you'll notice about out of the box it just sits as off and once you put them on obviously it'll go back to the standard option that you have if i want to be able to switch it over i'll press and hold on it and you can go back and forth between the two and you can customize that option under the press and hold under the earbud functions in here. That's what that suction is coming in here. Okay, now as far as the fit, it's pretty straightforward, exactly the same way we've had them before. You just basically put them on and it basically sits in your ear. Again, proximity sensor, the auto pause, auto start will work. Now I can actually start the music by just basically play, uh, tapping once. And And I can actually pause it or even control the volume as I showed you guys right there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Skipping forward is on the right side, skipping back is on the left side. And of course, I can double triple tap to launch the assistant. What's the weather like right now? Unfortunately, it's pretty much confirming what I already knew. It's raining, it's gonna be raining the rest of the day. But the biggest experience here is very nice. The noise cancellation is actually very good. You probably noticed how the audio volume changed on my hand. Uh, it's powerful enough to be able to cancel out that big PC that I have in the background. Actually, speaking of that big PC back there, let's go ahead and do a quick audio sample of how did the microphones uh, sound on the brand new Buds 3 with that PC turned on. It has 10 fans running. Let's go ahead and check that out. This is a quick microphone test on the Buds 3 using, uh, I'm using actually on the 24 Ultra, mostly because of the audio recording. And I also want to be able to show you guys that I'm recording this using the built-in microphones over Bluetooth with 10 fan running in my PC right behind me. If you can't hear them, and that's because that's how good the microphones are on this. This is definitely a big upgrade to what we had in the Z series where it gives us the ability of getting that low latency, but also gives us the ability of getting that performance that we typically get from the Pro series. Very nice and very clear, and I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. It is definitely surprising how well the audio came from the earbuds. And again, this is going to be great for uh, audio conversations, obviously, video recording, and even the ability of actually just using them to enjoy music uh, on the go. As I usually like to do with my audio test, I like to leave my phone here in the studio and I go all the way to the other side of the house with three walls between me and the actual phone, and the audio did not cut out. Bluetooth 5.3 is definitely delivering very nicely here. So the first thing I'll probably say is make sure you use the right ear tip. That ear tip will definitely help the performance because it provides that seal as well as the fit for you depending on the ear canal and how it fits. Out of the box again, it comes in with the medium, but you're able to go to the larger size or the smaller size. And for me, I had no problems. I usually typically go to the larger size ear tip and that worked great. The noise cancellation, the active noise cancellation works actually pretty decent and to be able to bring down the environment, it doesn't kill it entirely. But again, that's not the intention. At the price point that we're seeing here, this is actually pretty solid ANC. Provides us that uh, reduction of, uh, I'll say basically ambient sound so that you're able to enjoy and not have to play the audio at a very high level. Now, the drivers that we have here with the woofers that we have are definitely very strong and this is definitely geared towards bass heavy or bass heads. So if you enjoy bass, if you enjoy the full sound, again, with the audio configurations that we have in here, not only can you customize the audio with uh, OnePlus's options, but you're also able to customize the EQ and save your own personal preference. So everything makes it so that you're able to enjoy the content at a very nice level. Again, keep in mind, if you're using a non OnePlus device, you do need to download the Hey Melody app. And if you're using a OnePlus device, just pair it as normal. It does have the, uh, basically Google Pair. And if provide us the ability of basically just the moment you open it up next to your phone, it recognizes and wants to connect to it. So you're not going to be disappointed with what they're offering. You're not going to be disappointed with the battery life. You're not going to be disappointed with the customization options that you have in here, because again, Although we lost the Z series title, we gained the Pro series functionality at an affordable price. So the OnePlus Buds 3 are a great hit, a great combination to any device that you'd like to use. Again, I used it on the S24 Ultra as well as the 12R, as well as the 12, but I just couldn't share anything on the 12 side when we released that video. Uh, but it definitely works great, it perform performs exactly what you'd expect, and definitely hits above its weight. So my hope is that you found the brand new OnePlus Buds 3 as interesting as I did, and a good complementing accessory to 
to your device to be able to augment that audio experience, either from recording audio, listening to audio, and enjoying conversations with your friends and family. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.